Hi guys, have you subscribed to this Donnie Dewberry channel? Well, I'm thrilled to come on and share with you lots of lessons, but to do that, I need you to subscribe and go to notifications and ring the bell so that you're notified when I'm coming on. I have lots of special free streaming lessons that are great for you to come on live with me. So please go do that and stay tuned for the lesson. Hi guys, I am going to do some fun tropical today. As a relax and paint with Donna Dewberry, we're going to totally relax. And I just heard something really kind of exciting this week. And that is when somebody said, what I do at the end of a long day is I relax and paint with you. Instead of the first thing in the morning, it can be the last thing in the day. And so um, be thinking about that and be not afraid. That's what I was uh, sharing all last week. Be not afraid, but believe. So you have to believe you can do it and you can and enjoy what we're doing today. And it's going to kind of be tropical and see what you think. And I'm going to put it on some scrapbooking paper today. And you can use any kind of scrapbooking paper that isn't so vivid that it takes over your painting that you're going to do. Okay, so I'm going to collect some paints and let's get started. All right. We have a 12 by 12 sheet here. We're going to use our three quarter inch flat, my signature brushes. These are the higher quality brushes. Uh, it's fun to learn with those other brushes and my nails still healing. So sorry, I've got a bandaid on, but we're gonna start with these brushes, okay? And we will use, where's my liner? Well, I must have used it and not put it in. So there's a 16, a 12, and I used, I'll use um, a two script liner, but I want a good two script liner, not one that's been super used up. We'll see. All right. And we have to have some paper towels, but let's get started. I'm going to use magenta. Okay. And there we go. Um, we're using multi-surface paint, so I'm going to get a clean bottle so you can see. That's magenta, folk art, multi-surface magenta. And then we are going to use some, we're going to turn that into some light pinks by using some white. So let's get our worker white. All right, I should turn these bottles upside down so I don't have to hammer them. And... I am going to talk a little bit lower because I've gotten in trouble before when I didn't talk lower. All right, I'm going to put out a little bit of berry wine because some of these flowers need some dark in the center. Okay, and then we can use a little bit of daffodil yellow. All right, and let's use some happy green bright, bright green. Okay, some happy green and some sap green. All right, so it's kind of tropical. It's summer. I don't know when you're going to be watching this, but this is a good summer collection. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is giving you time to get your colors. Okay, and sap green. All right, so I want to get that paint off my fingers. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is one thing that's going to help you is I'm going to use my pencil that I just had here. <laughs> Where did I put it? All right. So it's right in front of me. All right. So I'm going to come up with some stems. All right, I'm going to put my big flower in the middle. And this is just going to help you see. And we want to have five petals. So let's take this line out of there. So then we want a big, long fern there, some fern here. 
And then we're going to try one of these uh, leaves that kind of look like this. And what happens with these leaves that they come in and out and in and out. I'm going to show you how to do that kind of and see. And then when you're all done, you'll re er erase these lines, okay? So let's get started first with, um, I'm going to go ahead and use some floaty medium. And we are going to come in here and work in some sap green, okay? So this first one, I'm going to chisel edge right across here. And let's come in here with, um, we have the 16 flat. Now I can get a little bit of citrus, a little bit of medium, and touch the center and pull the sap. So I touch, pressure, lift. Oh my goodness, I love it when the lawn guy comes every time. <laughs> okay, so hopefully he isn't so loud that it interrupts. Okay, so let's do this together a little bit closer. All right, so I'm going to come right down here and I'm going to touch right across from there and stand up. And I'm going to keep coming over here and look. Thank you guys for watching me and sharing my technique with you. It's so much fun. And I love seeing when you all share it on the Facebook group, what you've been practicing with me on the practice strokes and when we're creating right down here would mean there would be another one. You see like it would be missing because of the, the flower petal. So you could just do another little one here because it'd be a little bit bigger, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna pick up some white and citrus, and then let's go right between here with the 16 and blend this in. But I'm gonna put some worker white on this, the happy green. Is citrus green or happy green, okay? So what we wanna do on this one is we're gonna come and make them longer and slender, more slender. Okay, so look, I'm just coming right along here and I pull that slim line and then I can take, see how nice this little gingham check looks behind? All right, so I'm going to get a little bit of medium. You can cross over, see? Right now I can come back in and clean those up. Do you see that? But make it move where it's a little slender. more it's fuller because I'm making this almost like the first one and we really don't want that all right so it's just pretty busy all right so before I do I guess I'll go ahead and do this sleep. We're going to fill that brush full. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm going to come in here, go straight across there, and then back out to that outside edge. Back out to the outside edge and to a point. So then we come right in the middle here and fill that in. <gasps> Great. I wasn't on the screen, so let's do this again anyway. We're going to come along here. I can erase those pencil marks. Okay, see that? Now we're just going to come right in here and blend them in. All right, and we come right across here and put the sap green in the middle. All right. So we can come. I'm just picking up a little bit of happy green. These are big, more like philodendron, split leaf philodendron. All right. And then I erase the pencil marks. Okay. So now I'm going to clean that brush all off. We don't want to leave it in the water and we don't want to leave paint on it. So it dries up. Can you hear me scraping it in the butt in the basin? Okay. Now let's come in here and we've dampened this brush, laid on the paper towel. We're going to come right in here, get it nice and blended. Now I want some of this light pink, not white, but light pink on the outside edge because dip in the floating medium. And everybody always asks, what's the liquid? It's floating medium. And it's folk art folio medium, and it works beautiful because we don't want you to use water. Okay, so I'm going to come up here. Okay, so let's come in here now. Look what's going to happen. I'm going to come closer so you can see this. If I'm here, I'm going to come down and back up, down and back up. So here we have a little bit more paint. A little bit more paint in there. Now watch this. I'm coming up here. I'm rolling it and then sliding back down. And then you take the dark part of your brush and pull it in. Okay, so keep watching me right here. Okay, so let's come right in here again. Okay. 
see we're doing the edges and then we're coming in. All right, now what happens? We got that hibiscus here. Let's let's take and roll a little bit in there. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to put that in the water. I'm gonna clean it all off. Y'all can be working on yours. Remember, you can stop the video at any time and start it again, or just keep painting and then restart where you feel like you need to be. All right, so I'm gonna take some medium and stroke some of this berry wine. All right, so let's see what looks best. Let's do it like this. So I'm gonna come right here And see, this looks like a smile. You see it from here to there, okay? And what I wanna do, I wanna put some deep color into this is the throat of the flower. All right. All right, now what you can do is you get a little bit of medium with a little bit of this berry wine. And you can watch this. We're just side stroking. Here's the medium and side stroke. I got too much. All right, so then A little bit more very wine. Now look what happens when you put it right along, right in here where this rolls. I gotta get more. See that? Okay. So get some deeper shading. You can take some medium and make it move. See that? So we can come in here a little bit. All right, a little bit more in here. Okay, so that's how we get a little bit richer color. You can put some other colors in here. You can also take your white and you can come along in here and do some little highlights here and there with just plain white. You gotta do that when it's wet, when the paint's pretty wet.
this is kind of fun to see what you can do and add to it. And if like I did too much there, I just grab my pink magenta and I can stroke it up into that. Okay. All right. Isn't that kind of fun? Okay, so let's come in here with a little bit of, we'll pick up some burgundy with a little bit of yellow. This is berry wine. And it looks kind of burgundy. See, this is with my 12. Now I have it this way, right? How did I decide? Yeah. So I'm gonna come right here and I'm going to take it all the way out. We want it straight. Okay, and that's the stem. Now I'm going to get a teeny bit of sap green so that it stands out more because this is in the throat. Let's get a little bit more. You see how the throat of it is? Now, one thing that I can do is come right in here. Put a little bit of citrus, or this is happy green, just to make it pop a little bit. All right. Now, this is a fun flower, so I wanted y'all to see. You got to think about how we made it kind of fun. And then we're going to come in here. I'm going to make it a little bit dark green so you see it better. This is my one or my two script liner. And we want to make it like an upside down Christmas tree if I'm pulling it this way. Okay, so let's take a little bit closer. All right, so these are little lines which are not showing. I'm going to try to do a little bit darker. Real feathery light. All right, so now I'm going to come back in and get some berry wine, a little inky on that. All right. We're going to go across the front of this just a little bit. I'm just getting carried away, but I'm having a good time. All right, two script liner, clean brush. I'll pick up some white and some daffodil yellow with the white daffodil. And see, I'm tapping my little finger. And if I'm tapping my finger, it'll keep it from squishing it. Remember, it's shaped like a Christmas tree. Okay, white. This is thick paint, not inky. Okay, a little bit of white in here. Isn't that kind of fun? So, there's some practice for y'all to do. We can turn this multiple ways. You can also come in here. Let's get a little bit of, uh, let's get our 16. We should be done with the lesson, but I just keep playing around, don't I? <laughs> okay, so here's a 16. We're gonna come in here just to finish this off and add a few little leaves here. Some long slender leaves over here. Pull the stem into it with the chisel of the brush. Need to go practice some of my leaves. I'm in the whole practice sheet of leaves. On practice strokes this week. And I thought this would be perfect for us to do a few leaves on here. These are all stroke leaves, these little ones. All right.
sign it, finish it, and share it. Okay. Isn't that fun doing scrapbooking paper? All righty. I'm going to sign it and share it. I need to get my, my signature brush. Because that green baggy pack brush lit all up on me. See that? Okay. Okay, so little practice. Look how fun that flower is. Okay, we'll see you later. Thank you. Thank you.